Hello everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Today I thought I would chime in with a, a video to show you a quick tip on doing the squares for my little reindeer. Now I am creating 18 swap cards and that's why you see all of these piles here. I'm actually using some new products from the holiday catalog, Stamping Up 2018. This is the Dashing Deer stamp set, along with the Detail Deer Thinlets dies. And I'm also using a current uh, stamp set from the annual catalog called Swirly Frames. I'm using this little square image. Now, the reason I wanted to show you how I did this is because we're going to be using the Stamparatus to make things easy. Now, I have 18 cards to create. And it would be a pain to have to stamp and cut all of these one at a time. So I found an easier way and I wanted to show you how. So let me go ahead and grab one of each item. We're going to make one card together. So let me move all of the other layers aside. I've gone ahead and cut out the deer and let me show you how I did that. I used my Big Shot. All I did was use a scrap of the gray granite cardstock. And I knew that I just wanted the head of the deer for my squares. So when I lined this up on the Big Shot, I lined it up this way so that it would go up to the body. And I cut two of them. And then because I'm actually flipping one over to the wrong side, you are going to have some little cut edges. So what I do is I just take my bone folder and just flatten everything out so that the cut edges don't stand out. So now that this is nice and flat, I can use both directions. Now I've gone ahead and embossed the background already. And I wanted to show you how I did that. I wanted to make sure that it was flat under my designer paper. So what I did is grab a designer paper layer. I glued that in place right on the edge. And then when I used my embossing folder with logo side up, I made sure that where you see the embossing ends is lined up evenly with where the designer paper ends. So that's going to be right on the score line. And then I butted the edge against the designer paper. So you are going to have an area here that's not embossed, but that's where the little strip of the mossy meadow is going to go. This way, everything lay, uh, lays nice and flat. You don't have the bumps to deal with. So we'll glue that in place. So now let me bring in the Stamparatus. I wanted to figure out a quick way to do all these squares so I wouldn't have to stop so much when I was cutting. So I've gone ahead and cut 36 squares. I took a piece of Whisper White five and a half by four and a quarter, wrote top so I know that this would go in the top. Make believe this um, square is not cut out. So I have a whole piece of white paper. I ink my stamp, press it down, and then I would go to the Big Shot, cut out the one that I just stamped, creating a hole. So now all I have to do each time is bring in a white square, press it in the hole, bring in my ink pad, Ink my square, bring another one in. Whoops. And then I just keep going. 
So you see how much quicker that's going to be. I don't have to stop and cut each one that I've stamped ahead of time. I'm doing it backwards where I cut the hole. I'm stamping and then removing it. So I'll do four just so you can see how this works. Okay, so there's four that I did within just you know a couple seconds of each other. Now, let me put this away. We'll go ahead and glue one of the cards. So let me bring in my liquid glue. Now, this is a swap card that I'm doing with my customers on our um, Facebook page. I have a special page for all of my customers and we do challenges each month and every two or three months we do swap cards so we have a lot of fun on my on my facebook page if you guys ever order from me and you're on facebook i'll i'll gladly add you now i just glued the head because i want the antlers to kind of be um you can pop them up if you want and here's my second reindeer head. And this is probably really the first time in a long time that I haven't used stamping dimensionals on my cards. Now I'm going to glue this one right at the top. I'm going to bring him down a little bit because I don't want the antler to stick out. The second square is going to go right below that, about a quarter of an inch in between. And then my sentiment, I have a mossy meadow. Um, if you want the measurements of these, the designer paper is one inch by five and a half. The mossy meadow is a quarter of an inch by five and a half. And this one is one inch by three and a half. Now, a little trick that I did, I thought maybe by using Mossy Meadow ink on Mossy Meadow cardstock that it wouldn't stand out enough. So I went with Tranquil Tide. And you really can't tell that it's a totally different green. But see how much darker that shows up? And then let me bring in some scissors. I'm just going to flag the end. And for those of you that are not watching this live, I actually am hosting this video on another Facebook page. And then I'm going to load it to my business page. So you may not be seeing this live. Okay, this is going to go right here and then I added some rhinestone jewels and I am using the new take your pick tool this is what I'm using to pick up the rhinestones if you haven't seen this yet this end has the little putty on the end that you can use to pick up sequins and smaller pieces uh, to work with your card or your projects So I'm just adding three rhinestones. The requirement for the swap that I hosted was that it had to have three layers. So one, two, and three. And it had to have some type of embellishment. It could be ribbon, rhinestones, any jewels. So this serves as the requirement for the three layers. And my swap ends at the end of the month in August. Or wait a minute. No, it had to be in to me by August 15th. And then I mail it out to everyone. So I will be back with a video showing you all of the swap cards I received. And some of the girls that are swapping that, that decided to join in are either customers of mine or team members of mine. So I welcome you to join us. If you place an order through my online store, I'll add you to our Facebook page. Thanks so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed my Stamparatus tip. Goodbye.